So there's a, a few more things that I would I would kind of love to get your thoughts on. Sure. One is a question I, I a lot of people um, will ask me or email me about, and it is about this 2013 paper that was published by yeah, yeah, Bratsky. Sure. Blasky. Um, yeah. Bratsky. Yeah. Um, yes. And he he looked at blood omega three levels. I don't know if it was pla no, plasma, plasma phospholipids. Phospholipid. Yeah. Phospholipid. yeah. Omega three and the incidence of prostate cancer in a trial of people, it was called the SELECT trial, where people were given high dose alpha tocopherol and or selenium. Selenium, right. Um, and he found a, a correlation between the plasma phospholipid, phospholipid omega-3 and right. prostate cancer. And, um, it, and it, was, it was statistically significant. Yes. <clears throat> it was the, the range of high to low omega-3 was like this, like 4.6% versus 4.2%, something like that. It's very, very, very narrow, very small, which makes you go, well, that doesn't make any sense. Um, plus, I mean, my biggest, I, I, I don't criticize the results so much as the discussion in that paper. Because they said, therefore, ergo, taking fish oil or eating high omega-3 fish is going to cause prostate cancer. They turned a, a, an association into a cause and effect. In that study, you weren't allowed to be on an omega-3 supplement. Nobody in that study was on omega-3. And so they, th these guys already had a bent that they, didn't, they wanted to show something bad about them, supplements in general. And omega-3 happened to be the supplement du jour. And so their discussion and what they said on TV and what they said on other interviews was what went way beyond the data. Uh, the data itself have not been confirmed. They've been refuted by other studies. Those studies don't get any press, of course. Uh, and you're left with this weird thing hanging out from now eight years ago that still pops up that uh, hopefully this podcast will not cause somebody to go look at. Because if you do look at it, realize that the, the, the levels of omega-3 are very tiny. Plus, I mean, we, we submitted a, a letter to the editor about that. Uh, me and Michael Davidson, and one of the things we pointed out was there's evidence that in, in some cancer cells, they can actually upregulate FADS activity, and you might actually be making some more omega-3 because you've got cancer. Mm. If, if, I mean, that, again, it's a very tiny difference in levels between those who did and those who didn't get cancer. But there are other mechanisms, one, if it was even true, then that, that you can explain it by. And, and wouldn't you have expected it to be repeated with yet? There were other studies, as you mentioned, that refuted that, weren't? Yeah, yeah. That showed that the actually omega threes were more protective. More protective, of right? Even prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I don't know if you you want to know my thoughts too on this with the select trial. Yeah, sure. Am I allowed to ask? Her? I mean, so <laughs> I, you know, the the fact the trial design, the fact that these men were actually they were given like it was a, a four hundred I used of alpha tocopherol or selenium. I mean, the, the 400 I used of alpha tocopherol, uh, my mentor Bruce Ames and his, um, one of his postdocs had shown that when you give like a high dose of alpha tocopherol, much like the RDA of it is like 25, 15 I, or, mil, yeah, 15 something mil, like that, right, yeah, right. Um, that y you basically deplete another um, tocopherol, uh, gamma tocopherol, which oh, is right. anti-inflammatory. And so there's this you know, it's, it's actually not good to take mega doses of the vitamin, vitamin alpha tocopherol. the alpha tocopherol form of vitamin E. And so it's like, well, you're looking at blood samples from a very confounded, you know, cohort. Yeah, you're assuming the selenium and, and alpha uh, tocopherol had no effect on right. the outcome. Right, and we have no idea what could have happened, right? So yeah, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, and then plus the, 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 the lack of confirmation of that study, it's just I kind of want to, like, you know, get this out there. I mean, this the study right. it was. Do not believe this. Study. Yeah, Do not it's, let that you know, it's it was a sensational headline, um, as anything that is thought to be good for you, but then is not good for you, and totally. not only not good, for you, but could be bad for you. Totally, they love you this. You know, stuff. yeah, it it yeah. makes the it makes the headlines. Um, so good. glad we got that taken care of. 